Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how to find the five number summary. So before watching this video, you should have already seen uh, our previous lesson, which was uh, how to find the median. So once you have seen that video, then uh, the five number summary should be relatively easy for you. Okay, so again, we need a group a set of data uh, so I'm just gonna make up some numbers let's say 3, 4, 7, 7, 9, 11 okay now previously we've already learnt how to find the median and the median is one uh, number that we need to find in our five number summary now some of the other values that we need to find are the highest number and we also need the lowest number and we also need to find what we call the upper quartile and the lower quartile Now these five values that we're going to find is what we call the five number summary. So already we can see that this is our smallest number. So that's the lowest number. And this is our highest number. So clearly the five number summary I have already found two of them so I'm gonna put 11 is the highest 3 is the lowest okay and now what we're gonna do is find the median and if you have watched the previous video we know that we have six numbers here so the median position is n plus 1 over 2 which is uh, 6 plus 1 over 2 which is 3.5 so our median occurs at 1, 2, 3, 3.5 here is our median now halfway between 7 and 7 is just going to be 7 so our median is 7 okay so we have found three numbers out of our five number summary and we just need to find the upper quartile and the lower quartile so what is the upper quartile the upper quartile is the median of the top half of the data So given that our median is here, the top half of our data is here. So basically we have 7, 9, and 11. All right? This is our top half. All right, 7, 9, and 11. And we just want to find the median of the top half. So we have 9 is the median of the top half which is called uh, the upper quartile oops upper quartile instead of calling it the median because we've already found the median this is the median of the top half uh, so we're going to call it the upper quartile and it's nine and similarly the lower quartile is simply the median of the lower half so this is our lower half to our bottom half and the lower quartile is simply the median of 3, 4 and 7 so 4 is the lower quartile LQ so lower quartile is 4 so that's how you find the five number summary from a set of data so let's do another practice 
So I'm going to do a bigger data set this time. One, three, 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 five, five, seven, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Okay, so the first thing I want to see is how many numbers are there in my data set. Alright, so I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So n is equal to 12. Now the median position is therefore going to be n plus 1 over 2, which is 12 plus 1 over 2, which is 13 over 2, which is uh, 6.5. So I'm going to start counting from the beginning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6.5. This is my median. And uh, so I'm going to uh, find the midpoint between 5 and 7. So median is equal to 5 plus 7 divided by 2, which is 6. So the median is 6. And now we want to find the upper quartile. So the upper quartile, actually let me use a different color. The upper quartile is the median of the top half. So here's the top half. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 numbers. So the upper quartile must exist here, which is halfway between 8 and 9. So 8 plus 9 divided by 2, which is uh, 17 over 2, which is uh, 8.5. And the lower quartile, use a different color again, is the median of the bottom half. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six numbers in the bottom half. The lower quartile exists right here in between the two middle numbers. So lower quartile is 3. So the five number summary, we have the median, upper quartile, lower quartile. The highest number is 10. And the lowest number is 1. So this is our five number summary. Median, upper quartile, lower quartile, highest and lowest. So as you can see, right now we have an even number of uh, scores in our data set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, what if we had an odd number of scores? So, I'm just gonna make it uh, n equals 11. So, uh, let me just open up a new page. So let's say we now have uh, 1, 3, 5, 5, 5, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just one more number, 13. Okay, so we now have n equals 11. So this is an odd number of scores. Okay, so I'm going to find the median again by using the median formula, which is n plus 1 over 2. So that's uh, 11 plus 1 over 2, which is 12 over 2, which is 6. So my median, starting from the beginning, will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is my median. Okay, and now I'm going to find the upper quartile. Now, the upper quartile, which is the top half of the data, does not include the median. Okay, so that's an important thing you have to learn. We don't include the median when we are looking for the top half of the data. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five numbers. Nine is there for the upper quartile. And similarly, with the lower quartile, we have the bottom half, which is here. We do not include the median in the bottom half. 
So the median of the bottom half is 5. Okay, and obviously the highest is uh, 13 in our data set, and the lowest is 1. Okay, so these five numbers here make up our five number summary. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.